Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I am going to be overlaying my voice over the uh, the video of this orbital rendezvous here, which I'm decently proud of because uh, you know it's pretty difficult. But I'm doing. I did the orbital rendezvous for a reason, and um, the reason is kind of the subject of this video. And today I want to talk about the upcoming. Uh, Point eighteen update for Kerbal Space Program. This is a massive update, guys. I'm I'm not even kidding. It's it's huge. Uh, I have a big list over here on my other monitor, and I kind of just want to go over them now. Uh, so the first major thing that they're adding is docking, and I'm so excited about this. And the way it's going to work is uh, you can put on you know two different ships. Uh, little docking clamps or they're basically like airlocks and you put them there and if they get near each other like really near not not like within feet but like right next to each other they'll kind of attract each other and uh, link up and it'll create one spacecraft out of that so this opens up a whole bunch of new possibilities like uh, setting up a big ship that you want to send somewhere far away and building it in orbit actually so you don't have to lift it all off the ground at once and also you can do things like build space stations which uh, in the video here it's a space station but I took it all up at once so it's not exactly the coolest thing and I'm doing some uh, I'm doing basically a, a crew change out there have been two Kerbals up there that have sat there for over two years of in-game time and I want to get them out of there because two years in a space station is no fun. Anyway, so yeah, docking and a huge list of new parts and I'm I'm not even kidding, it's it's huge. Uh, just off the top of my head there are going to be things like environment sensors, basically uh, antenna that can be deployed so they're, you know, they're internal antenna and then you bring them out so you don't, it doesn't look ridiculous while you're launching and stuff like that. Uh, satellite dishes and probe parts, uh, unmanned capsules, so now you're going to be able to do things like build probes, build satellites, and not have to leave your precious Kerbals up in orbit. Yeah, And things like, this is kind of tying into the next thing they're adding, but things like solar panels and batteries and uh, a whole bunch of electrical stuff because they're finally adding an official electricity system. Now there's some mods out there for it right now and they're pretty good but it's going to be official. They're going to have uh, solar panels and generators that run off of rocket fuel and that kind of stuff and they're also going to have batteries to store the energy and it actually does make a difference because there are parts that use electricity now. For instance uh, manned capsules produce electricity but unmanned capsules they use electricity to stay online and they also made it so that SAS and things like that, things that would draw power that you would think would draw power, they now draw power. So it's going to be really useful. But the main use for electricity, uh, the biggest draw for electricity is going to be the new ion engines. And if you know anything about ion engines, uh, well, I'm just going to explain them now. Basically, it takes, in real life, they take uh, gas, it, uh, a whole bunch of uh, noble gases are usually what they use, and they electrically charge it so it's full of ions, and that you, they use that as propulsion, and it's really good because it runs on a tiny bit of gas and mostly electricity, but they're finally adding them in, and they're going to eat up a lot of electricity and a tiny bit of xenon gas, which will be held in basically small fuel tanks, but it's pretty much infinite fuel. I mean, it's not its not going to be infinite. It's going to run out. But it's good for things like long-distance probes and, I don't know, use your imagination. There's so many things you could use this for. Uh, and also, you know, another thing that will be kind of connected to docking is they're revamping the staging system. Now, right now, you know, you go, you after you exit the, uh, the VAB, your staging is kind of set. You know, you can't change it unless you go back into the construction. But now, they're uh, they're making it so you can edit it in flight, add stages, you know, move things around. So if you realize halfway in through your mission to Mars or Duna 
that you made a mistake and you know your parachute's gonna fire way too early or something like that no big deal you can change it I know that was a big deal for me when you know going on long missions and realizing you did something wrong and you have to go all the way back and do it all over again so that's really cool and another thing they're adding is a thing called action groups and they haven't really talked about this much but they're going to be related to staging in some way uh, it's kind of like um, a group of certain actions I'm kind of just using the word a group of actions such as maybe uh, a landing group so you so it you know, activates the landing engines and puts out the uh, the landing legs and I, I'm not really too certain about what it is yet so I'm not gonna not gonna speculate too much on it much um, they're doing a big uh, revamp of terrain for both Kerbin and Moho the Mercury uh, analog and KSP they're, they're adding uh, pictures show things like rivers and whole bunch of cool stuff they're adding a new orbital body between Duna and Jewel it's uh, basically an asteroid kind of thing they're adding another moon for Jewel and finally another cool thing that I'm really happy about it, they're adding a maneuver system basically you can plan maneuvers ahead in your flight and you can see what they'll do and it'll tell you things like how much you need to accelerate to achieve that maneuver and how much time you have until you get to the maneuver so you can plan out your burns and oh man I mean they're adding so much new stuff that it looks like a completely different game and I think I'm gonna throw up some links in the description to see for you to see some of these things for yourself but uh, anyway guys I just really wanted to go over that and I hope you guys are having a great day so I'll see you guys probably once point eighteen drops I'll probably be doing some videos on it alright guys see you later